Hey everyone, so um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, requested video um, and it's pretty much going to be about um, deciding which horses are best to show um, either through pictures or um, live showing um, just based on condition and certain flaws that uh, a model might have. So. I have a couple horses set out today that um, are from my collection and um, ones that are either a body or PSQ quality and then LSQ. So um, I'm just going to get right into it and um, not waste too much time, but um, this is just kind of a helpful video to uh, those new to live showing and photo showing. Um, so that you guys know which horses are um, best to show as what. So, um, and I'll probably just end up taking some of these down so that we can just concentrate on one at a time. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove um, three of them. Okay, so this is my treasured moves um, in the lady phase mold and she is a body in my collection um, I can't show her she just has too many um, flaws uh, either scuffs or scratches or paint missing or um, whatever the reason she just isn't able to be shown um, based on her condition that she's in. So I'm just going to try and zoom in so that you're able to see. Um, beautiful model. She has awesome, you know, shading and whatnot, but she just has too many scratches and flaws that enables her ability to be able to be shown. Um, so one of them would be here on her belly. Um, I know my finger's blurry, but can't really do anything about it. Um, that's a scratch. Um, there's paint missing, and um, also the same right here on her hip here. And she also has shiny marks in her white and on her butt there. So. Um, not sure how easy that's being seen, but and then on her other side, she has another scratch here on her belly. Um, so there's that. Um, she has um, hoof rubs and ear rubs. Try and focus this a little bit but not really sure how easy it'll be so we'll try doing this one handed you can see there um, she has ear tip rubs so that's not good um, this would be considered a body. Um, you know, too many scratches, too many flaws can't be shown. Um, so, in other words, a shelf model. I mean, you can still collect her. You can still set her on your shelf, and she will still look pretty, but you just can't show her. So, that's a body. Um, the next model would be PSQ, or picture quality. Um, he's a tall one, so I'm trying to get him in my camera. Um, as you can see, he looks awesome on camera. Um, you can't really see any flaws, and this would be his showing side. So if I was going to put him in a picture, this is the side that he would be shown on, just because the position of his head, he seems to be looking this way. So you wouldn't want to show a model facing away like that like you wouldn't want to show like that you want to be able to see his face 
so this would be his showing side like that so you're able to see his face and his eyes and um, everything like that as you can see so you just want to be able to see him um, while I'm zoomed in here I'll show you what flaws small flaws he does have um, they're not huge so they don't affect his ability to be able to be shown in a picture um, but he does you can see here right here right to the right of my finger there's a small scratch in his marking um, and that is really his only flaw that you can see he does have ear tip rubs you can kind of see it here but when you're zoomed out see when you're zoomed out you can't see any of that so he looks perfect so that would be a photo showing quality um, model um, you know everything's perfect just tiny flaws that don't quite make him um, live show quality but ones that you can't see in a picture that you're still able to show so that would be a PSQ model the next two models are ones from my live show show string and they are LSQ they don't have any flaws whatsoever so um, this would be an LSQ model so she is completely LSQ she has no flaws at all no ear rubs no scratches no paint missing um, she's just an overall nice model no hoof rubs at all and she is a custom so um, so this would be an LSQ model one that I would show um, in a live show um, I know she kind of looks like Grula on the camera, but she's actually Red Roan. She's a bet your blue boons and she's etched. Um, but I mean, just on the camera, the way that the light is back here on her hip, that kind of looks like gray or Grula. Uh, okay. I'll show you the other side. There. Um, so she is an LSQ model. She doesn't have any scratches. Um, and she would be able to be live shown um, now if you're talking showing in a youth show um, some flaws would be acceptable only because the judging isn't as harsh in a live youth show because I mean it's youth they don't want to be too harsh so that nobody with a small scratch on a model can place so he has actually shown in a youth show before and he's placed fourth so if that tells you anything you can show a PSQ model in a youth show um, he has won a fourth before um, so um, it can be done it just depends on what show you're in and what horses are in the class that you're showing in. Um, now, there are models, like the one I'm about to put up, um, that are LSQ. They don't have scratches, they don't have hoof rubs, no ear rubs, nostril rubs, nothing, no scratches, nothing. They're completely perfect, but there is something called uh, factory flaws which are flaws that the horse can uh, come with out of the box straight from briar and they're just flaws that they pick up from the factory and you can't really do anything about it because it's under the finish it's there it's set it's not going anywhere and um, you can definitely still show them but it just doesn't guarantee that you're going to place very well so my Sato is an LSQ model but he has very crisp markings and that is why I picked him I traded him for a body quality Alborozo I traded him um, and the woman had two of them 
and I was able to choose because nobody else had wanted to trade yet. So she still had the two and I got to um, pick which one I wanted. And um, one reason I picked him was for his darker coloring. He is a darker model. Um, and his markings were just very crisp and that's why I picked him. Um, so he was handpicked, but you obviously, when they're in the box, you obviously can't see their other side that is, um, facing the box side. So you can only see the one side of the horse, uh, when it's in the box. But, um, looking at him like he was in the box, he looked completely perfect. And then when I did get him out, he has something on his mane and his tail called overspray and underspray. He has overspray on his mane on this side. I'm try and focus on it. But you can see that it's um, paint from his base coat that was accidentally overreached from his neck into his mane and um so and it's very common in some of the newer models that they're coming out with just because I don't think they're personally spending enough time painting them and they're just rushing through trying to produce them and they're just ending up with overspray and underspray on the manes and the tails and it can be on the hooves sometimes also as well and then this side would be his underspray where his base coat color didn't come all the way up to the mane you can see it right there it's not all the way up to the base um, of the mane where the mane starts so he has been live shown before and he hasn't placed probably because of his over and under spray problems but um other than that he's lsq so it just depends uh what you have and in his class also there were also about 20 other sados in his class so when it gets down to having that many models of the same 20 sados 20 valentines 20 o'leary's they Judges will just pick which models have the best shading and are in the best condition. So that's what judges are usually looking for um, in a live show if you have multiple models of the same thing. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, I know I was asked how can you find live shows. Um, I usually go to the um, NAMSHA, I think that's what it is, or HSA, um, dot org, and it's NAN, it's the NAN organization, and they always have NAN qualifying shows posted on their website that are on throughout the year um, and every month, so that's always helpful and I know that youth shows aren't NAN qualifying but sometimes um, a NAN qualifying show will also host a youth or novice show within the same open show so that doesn't mean it's NAN qualifying that just means that they're hosting an open show and they're also hosting a youth or novice show at the same time as the open show so they're having two shows at the same time but only one of them is NAN qualifying and um, um, usually they'll do that if they have requests for a youth show or maybe they just want to have a youth show I don't know um, but so it's always even if you are looking for a youth show it's always a good idea to go on the NAN website and check out what open shows there are and also see if they have uh, youth or novice shows within the open shows because that's what usually happens um, GLC, Great American Congress, no, Great Lakes Congress, they have excellent youth and novice shows, um, usually two to three times a year, um, usually two, it's in northern Illinois, um, just northeast of Chicago, 
so um, they always have great youth shows. Um, very informational and great for a first time shower. Um, and I think that's all I have to say, but um, if you guys have any questions, you can always message me or comment in the comments below. Um, hmm. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe because, um, I don't know. I feel like I need new subscribers because I just don't have that many. And I spend time making videos and I just don't have subscribers. So, um, subscribe, please. I'm saying please because I know. Anyways, okay. Well, uh, you guys have a great day. And, um, I will be posting a video of a new horse I just got soon after this one. So, watch out for that also. Um, again, if you have questions, just message me. Message message me in the comments below and I will gladly respond to everybody. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye!